Hey everybody, welcome to part two of what are devil obligations. Now, remember we were talking about Jeff. Jeff wants to be born again. Okay, he's 29 years old. He's a real estate developer. He attends Joy Oystein's church and also He's a constituent as well as a lobbyist for the Democratic Party. In particular, he lobbies for gay rights. Okay. So, Jeff doesn't know it yet, but when the, within the next week of him receiving his salvation in Jesus Christ, which he's confessed and believed in his heart. Okay. He's going to get a visit from both God and the devil. Okay. The Holy Spirit is going to convict him of his job as a lobbyist for the Democratic Party. Okay. It's a job for him because he receives contributions. His firm does for one of his political friends who's in poly politics for the Democratic Party. Okay, he gives, he scratches his back and vice versa. Okay, but these are wicked men who are committing abominations against the Most High. So the Lord is going to tell him to give that up, first and foremost. Okay, and he's also, within the next week, is going to get convicted of attending Joel Oystein's church. The Lord is going to reveal to him, in a still, small voice, may I add, that Joel Oystein is a devil, a wolf in sheep clothing. As Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 states. So, Jeff doesn't know it yet, but he's going to have some very tough decisions to make for his spiritual life if he wants to continue Remember I said in part one, enduring to the end. Okay, Luke 9.23 states that if anyone wants to come after me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross daily and follow me. Okay, so remember I said also, Jeff is going to get a visit from the devil himself, Satan himself, because Satan, he leaves you alone so long as you're no threat. If you're an unbeliever, you're one who does not consider the statutes, ordinances, commandments of the Most High, okay, you're one who disregards holiness, then you are no threat to the enemy. Now, I talked about this and Lucifer is on like roll. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. I released it over a year and a half ago. Keep in mind that Satan himself and the billions upon billions upon billions of demons that are on the earth, yet invisible because of the veil that the Most High has established to where we cannot see in that spirit realm unless we fast and pray. But keep in mind, these evil spirits have over 6,000 years experience in devising wicked plans and destroying the Most High's creation. 
So this is something that even Jeff does not know about yet. Matter of fact, he's going to get convicted by the Holy Spirit that he needs to take a few hours throughout his day to get his head in the scriptures and read about what Christ has charged him with so that he may escape the wrath of God. But he doesn't know the spiritual forces that are desperately after him. He doesn't even know Jeremiah 17, 9, which states the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You understand? So, the devil has left him alone up until this point. Throughout his real estate career, he's been rich. And he's actually been working for the devil. He's been working for the, Dem the Democratic Party. Okay. And they've greased his palms very well. But one of the first plots the enemy attempts to do is to use those in your inner circle. Once you decide to become a threat to him, now the devil wants to come back for his things that he blessed you with. Because if you're not working for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you're working for Satan by default. Jeff doesn't understand. He's been working for Satan. And he's been a, a, a one of the main cohorts in his state for funding wickedness. So now the enemy has some things to work off due to the sins from his previous lifestyle. Because just because you get saved don't mean that you're not going to experience the wages. You understand? So, the scripture state for where your heart, your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The enemy understanding this is going to test Jeff. So those lobbyists who work alongside Jeff and have been competing for the bids that he received from the Democrats and the palms that grease his hand. Now, when they find out that Jeff no longer supports what he's been lobbying for them for years. Now they're going to turn on him. You understand? Matter of fact, the state senator is going to make sure that those properties that Jeff has, he's going to put liens on those properties. He's going to find a way through the court system to prosecute Jeff. Now, what may not seem possible in the natural realm, oh, no, it's definitely possible when demons are working behind the scenes because Satan is the god of this world. If he gave you things, you best believe there's a price to pay for it when you decide to become a threat to him. Now, when you were not a threat, he leaves you alone. You see, he leaves 
you alone. This is why a lot of these guys who are on YouTube talking about success and talking about becoming the better you and the law of attraction, what they are saying is foolishness. They don't understand it. They, they plan right into the devil's hands. As long as you're saying God will make you rich, you have no you have no shot at defeating this devil. Coming to the, the cross and coming before the most high, you have to deny yourself. You understand? Mark chapter 4 verse 19 speaks about the deceitfulness of riches. Okay, when we're talking about the deceitfulness of riches, we're talking about the sting of death. <laughs> A lot of people don't catch that. That's the only way riches can be deceitful is if this guy, Satan, comes to collect after your death. Therefore, you fulfilled the devil obligations. The devil does not get screwed on the deals he makes with men. He goes before God to accuse you. So after a while, you're not listening to God. He to God takes his hands off of you. He allows the accuser, the brother, after he's accused you, to come and collect. That's how the devil collects on the rich. The rich don't get persecuted in this life. They don't. They don't. Unless, unless they've done something to exalt themselves against Satan himself. Unless they've pissed him off. Like R. Kelly, for example. R. Kelly was trying to play both sides. And Satan, through R. Kelly still being under the grace of God, God didn't allow him to kill him. But now he's in prison for a long time. You see that? R. Kelly, many riches. But God finally allowed, because R. Kelly at one point, was like Jeff. He was sincere. That's when he made that song, I Believe I Can Fly. But he was around the wrong people. Like Jeff is right now. You see? He was, he was around the wrong pastor. And I personally believe that celebrities have to humble themselves. They're going to come after Christ. And they can't go after the nearest big, who's a big name like them. You understand? Even if they're not a big name like Jeff, they're in the same tax bracket, big in stature. You understand? So, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and it goes on to the 6 through 10, talks about even those who desire to be rich fall into temptation. So how much more are those who are rich? You understand? It, it goes on to say, for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Again, this is what Satan, these are the scriptures Satan used to accuse the brethren before the Most High. God cannot go against his word. Okay, now he can activate the law of grace, which is also a part of his word. Most of the time, that's why he doesn't allow Satan to kill man when man has sinned against him. It's the law of grace. Okay, but 
the scriptures also say we shall not continue in sin that grace may abound. God forbid. Okay. Remember the story of Lazarus. The rich man went to hell. Lazarus went to heaven. You see that? So eventually, God allowed Satan to kill the rich man. Now, Satan also wanted to kill Lazarus. <laughs> Satan don't care about the rich or the poor. He just wants to kill God's creation, all of them. You understand? So, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, says the God of this age has blinded their minds. See that? You see that? So, we'll pick up in part three.